Since I've been getting the opportunity to cook more at home, I decided to dig out this old arrow garden from storage and grow some herbs at home. I found an STL file on Thingiverse for the pods and started printing them out. Growing plants like this is called hydroponics and I plan to start a new series on it. While I was dusting off the machine, I got to thinking that I could build my own hydroponic setup. I think it would be an interesting project and we'll post more videos about this soon. But for this video, I just want to introduce my arrow garden and use it as a baseline to compare my own future builds to. So first off, we got seeds here. We got these packets from Amazon and there's an assortment of herbs to pick from. I also got this box of organic coconut core. This is the fibery layer part of the coconut. From what I've been reading, it makes a great medium for growing things. I've never actually used it myself, but it should be pretty easy to use. It's also not too expensive and it's quite sustainable. There are three blocks of it here and this is actually a lot because they come dried out. Once you soak it in water, it will quickly expand and become soft and easy to use like soil. The transformation is actually quite amazing. Here I wanted to demonstrate how hard it is when it's solid. It feels like sawing a piece of wood. I'm not able to really get much away with it. Now I took the same block and dropped it in a bucket of warm water. Look at how it's already starting to break down. Now it's absorbing the water and expanding. Look at this expansion. It's gonna expand into about roughly two to three times the size of the original block. Now I'm not trying to use too much water here because I'm not trying to make a soup of this. I just want it to be moist enough to the point where it becomes the consistency of soil. Once it's at this point uh, and ready to use, I'm gonna go ahead and grab my pods and stuff this in. There are a total of nine pods in this arrow garden, so I can pick up to nine different herbs if I want to. Um, I'm just taking a handful of this uh, coconut core and stuffing them into the pots like so. I'm gonna do it for all nine, but I'm not gonna fill it all the way to the top. So I'm just gonna leave a, a little bit on the top so that we can add the seeds. And then I'm gonna put another layer of coconut core on top of that. I have some of these plastic uh, sauce cups laying around and I have marked each one of them with the seeds. I'm going to plant them to help me keep track. These cups will also have an important role in the germination process later on. In each pod, we are putting in six to seven seeds. We don't want too many, but at the same time, we do want some number in order to make sure that something sprouts. Uh, there are times when seeds are duds, so having more than one is better. If the pod's done, let's fill up the water tank. This is a deep water hydroponic system, so the plants will be in this water full time. The water pump helps oxygenate the water by keeping it moving and creating bubbles as the water splashes. Now the cool thing about the lid is that there are water channels that flow the water down like a waterfall into the pods. And this is part of the uh, process of making sure the water is oxygenated. Oxygenation is a very important thing because plants actually also need oxygen in the roots. Um, and another process of moving the water is also making sure that we're spreading the nutrients around. All right, so I have all the pods here. And uh, remember these caps? They're on top of the pods so that they can create a greenhouse effect and making sure everything is moist and humid um, so that the seeds will have the perfect conditions for germinating. Now the settings down here are pretty simple. We're just going to set the time. Um, this controls the timing of the lights and how many days we've had growing and it will keep track of all this for you. And it's pretty simple to set up. One last thing we're gonna do is to make sure that we have the plant food. Plant food is just essentially just making sure that we have minerals and, and, and stuff in the water. It's not just plain water. There's some magnesium, um, there's some calcium, uh, and there are a lot of different mix out there, but I'm using Aero Garden because it's the most uh, well-rounded of the bunch, and it's a one-size-fit-all kind of solution. So I'm gonna fast forward to three days later, and as you can see here underneath the caps, there's a lot of hum humidity coming through. Um, it's just like a greenhouse where there's a lot of moisture and it's kind of warm in there. And this is what's gonna help the sprouts grow. Uh, once they grow up to a certain point, we're gonna remove the cap and let them just grow normally. But as you can see, we already got some little sprouts here and it's kind of exciting to see. I'm gonna fast forward another four days. So this is seven days since we started and we're already seeing a lot of action here. Um, some of them grow much faster than others because their germination period is much shorter. Some of them are a little longer, especially rosemary. Rosemary is like 17 days, whereas basil and dill, they're quite strong herbs and they grow really easily and they only germinate within three days. Um, one thing I did notice is that uh, if you really look at the, the, the direction of the plants, they're all growing 
towards the center. Uh, even the ones underneath the caps, they're kind of growing and they're facing towards the center of the where the light is, which I never noticed that before when I used the Aragon previously, but it is quite interesting to see that the plants are going towards the center when uh, the light seems very uniform. So this lets me know that the LED lights is uh, probably more intense or more desirable in the middle. Uh, it might be something I need to consider when I build my own hydroponic system. Um, but for now, I'm pretty excited to see uh, a lot of growth. Um, I still need to wait a few more days to see the rest of the pods pop up, and I'm hoping that none of them are dead. Uh, but if they are, it will be a simple process of just you know, re reseeding the pods and, and getting it back started. Welcome to day 11, and we got some growing action. We also got some new members of the family. We got Thai basil in the back left right there, and a single stalk of cilantro. Some of you guys may know it's coriander. We also got mint growing. Um, it's a tiny little speck right now. It's kind of hard to see, but it's in there. It's gonna grow. Uh, you, at this point, you also may notice that there's a lot of green color around the top of the cocoa core. Um, that's perfectly normal. That's called trichoderma. It's a fungus that is a, in a symbiotic relationship with the plants. It helps protect the plant's roots and protect it from uh, um, you know, bad things. Uh, it's kind of hard to go into. I, I need to read more up about it, but it is perfectly normal. You might also see some white fuzz as well, but those are all perfectly normal. That's pretty much where I am today with the garden. But as a bonus, I have this beautiful fat bunch of basil that smells absolutely fantastic. I'm going to use the extra coconut core uh, and plant it in a separate pot. So there we go, um, quick introduction of my new endeavor. Um, I'm going to be uh, monitoring this growth of the Aero Garden to see how well it grows. Um, they're going to be doing some research on what kind of parts I need in order to build my own hydroponic system. Um, that means I'm going to look into LEDs, I'm going to be looking into maybe setting up a Raspberry Pi and creating my own interface to control the, the water pump and the lights. It seems like uh, it's going to be a really fun project and hopefully I can build something that can really maximize my in-home growing so that I can don't have to worry about um, you know, herbs and lettuce and, st and stuff like that. You know, I want to kind of get my veggies in. Uh, <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video and um, you know, let me know what you guys think if you guys are interested in this kind of thing. Uh, until next time, stay dorky.